the young people of a very wide age group grouping working together. Kids, as Anne said, from six or seven up to 18 or 19 are all working together. They're not segregated by some kind of artificial grade level. That turns out to be very important for both the older and more experienced young, uh, uh, young actors and for those who are relatively young. They're learning from each other. They're having to think about what it is that makes sense, what needs to be further explained. They're drawing on their own experiences as they've gone through this. A related aspect is that our young people tend to come back again and again and again. It's a very rare young person who does this only once. Uh, many come back many, many times. We have, as Anne said earlier, we have no auditions or rejections. The question is often asked, well, how can you then make the productions very good? And I think that the best answer, again, is for somebody to see a production. It turns out that if we concentrate well and fully on the capabilities of our individual actors, the show will take care of itself, and it always does. Another important aspect that I'd like to mention, I think, is the multicast aspect of this. Very few of our productions have only one cast to them. We have had as many as five, six, seven, even eight once. Different casts simultaneously doing the entire play, let's say an entire work of Shakespeare. Now, if you have six different Hamlets and six different Ophelias, each of them is going to do the full play, twice at least, but they are also going to learn a great deal from each other. And that is an additional very important uh, benefit of, of the program and the way it happens. Finally, unlike children's theater, there is n no, well, let me say two things. Let me re-say that. Too often in children's theater, the main emphasis is on the few adults with the kids being adornments, maybe having a cute thing or two to do or say. Our attitude is that that's backwards. The emphasis is on the kids. We need to be there, but we also need to get out of the way as much as possible. Give them the tools and then get out of their way as much as we can. I think that that's a, a very vital part of what we're doing. Finally, unlike a lot of children's theater, no young person ever comes to us and gets a line or two to say, uh, and that's all. If they're here to do Shakespeare and to prove something about their own capabilities, they need to do something very fully. Even a new, quite young person might very typically get oh, at least 80 to 120 lines of Shakespeare to perform in a play. And guess what? Surprise, they can do it well, <laughs> very well. And uh, I don't think any of those kids would want to go back to productions where they're being asked to do two to six lines of something. Last point, we are very proud that we don't have people making too much of a distinction among the capabilities of the young people. We don't hear the phrases too often that my youngster is gifted and talented. And I think the reason for that is quite simple. I haven't met very many young people who are not gifted and talented. The question is, what's getting in their way? When these young people are doing Shakespeare and doing it well, and doing it with their colleagues that they see are doing it well, they're in the presence of something that is superordinate, that is greater than the individual tasks that they are normally being asked to do. And there is no need to try to say, I'm better than you. And we're very proud of that.